There has been a significant decline in milk production in Zimbabwe. The collapse of commercial dairy sector resulted in reduced size of dairy herds, milk quality and quantity. Recent dairy sector study carried out by SNV Zimbabwe evident the current situation of the sector in general and particularly the poor availability of on-farm quality feed and feeding technologies, weak genetic quality of existing breeds in the country and poor farm organization at milk collecting centers MCC. SNV's approach is uh, that we look at the whole value chain. So, for instance, in the dairy or milk value chain, we look at um, uh, who is producing milk, who is supplying the inputs that are needed for producing milk, who is buying the milk, who is consuming the milk. So, we are trying to surface the issues that are causing bottlenecks within the whole value chain. And once we, are underst we understand fully uh, the value chain, we are able to, to roll out a full program that, um, that is targeting those uh, spe specific bottlenecks. For implementation of the pilot project, five more collection centers, MCCs in Gokwe, Tongogara, Umzingwane, Rusitu, and Mushagashe were selected based on their performance and agroecological diversity. Small-scale farmer members with one to five dairy cows and some experience of previous dairy farming were selected from MCCs in order to establish on-farm demo plots. We've been working in five milk collecting centers in Zimbabwe, mainly to educate farmers or to train farmers and work with government officers on uh, silage process and hay making also just to show them intercropping with cereals and legumes so we had we used um, maize and sugar grass as cereal crops and then we had different legumes such as cowpea lab lab velvet beans soybeans and uh, sun hemp we did at least three demo plots at uh, each milk collecting center. So here we make silage as well. Um, we mainly use maize and sugar grass. Either you can do separate uh, silo pits or you can combine them. We harvest them when they are mature just at the beginning of uh, tussling stage because water soluble carbohydrate is the key component to process silage. It's a natural process. All the microorganisms will uh, do the ensiling process using water soluble carbohydrate. We have to supply key nutrients for dairy cows in order to increase the milk production, not just the yield quality as well. So these are energy, protein, fat, vitamin and minerals. Farmers harvested uh, uh, sugar grass. We chopped them into uh, four to five centimeters and um, farmers have already uh, dug a pit in the soil. So we covered the silo pit with the uh, black polythene and then we uh, put the chopped materials and we use a drum to pack it so tightly because if air goes into the silo it will destroy the uh, microorganism activity it's uh, anaerobic that's without uh, air and uh, and then we cover the uh, plant materials with the black uh, plastic and then cover with the soil on the top we are going to keep it for two to six, uh, sorry, uh, six to eight weeks. And then it will be the really the dry winter uh, period where farmers have nothing to feed their uh, dairy cows. So this is very high in energy once silo comes out. Farmers and extension staff undergo training centered on the Farmer Field School approach, FFS which is ideally suited for the promotion of silage production and improved land management. We normally provide 
uh, sex is like uh, demonstrations on silage making and uh, to just to train them on the proper management of dairy dairy cattle sicabanga ukuthi project le nxa izabuya ibuye isikhangelela ikakhulu endabeni zokudla kwenkomo bungasincedisa ukuthi singayithenga ukudla okudulayo ezitolo ngale kodwa sizenzele ethi nangokwethu ukudla lokho okuzaba lenzuzo enjani engcono ngoba siyabe singala expense ening uyabuzuzile uyabuzenzele wena ungazange uyethenge ezitolo uzuzuzele ukudla okungani kuchip SNV khona basifundisile ukuthi inkomo siyazilimela sizilungiselele ukudla sigcinele isikhathi sebusika njoba ebusika kuya bengwasela zulu kungalani sengenzile yamisa ilejivele phansi ikhone egodini so la lapha esesikufundile kuhle kakhulu siyaqhubeka sisiyaphambili eh ngufunde kakhulu lapha ukuthi ukuhlanganisa izinhlanyelo indumba lokuzala bo olapho lapho velvet beans kwenza kube very nutritious so sibona ngani sesichaye sibambile lokuthi haya sesekuhlupe kokudinga kakhulu ukudla kwenkomo chini cha ndinonyanya kuita manje there's a dairy i spend much of my time in dairy industry because ndiko kwa ndino wana zokutshika most of the times zime nguba especially this time this dry season eh to experience some problems akati one day because we saw when go here say we show ma so we need to work very hard to get some money and to buy some daily feed milk collection centers provide milk and leakages for the farmers through packaging of different milk products we get milk from our farmers um about twice a week as the milk comes in we we weigh in our can our can weighs 2 kg without milk right and then uh, we pour the milk into the can weigh it and record the weight of the milk that translates to liters and thereafter we then um, test it for freshness the gadget actually floats when the milk is in good order and from there we then pour our milk into our containers if we have more than 110 or 120 liters we then pour it straight into the pasteurizer for process this uh, a mixture called culture which we put in the in the cans thereafter it's ready for packing it's then taken into this room where we actually pack it into the sachets using our sealing machine here with a robust and efficient impact monitoring system This phase will be used to pilot test assumptions and fine tune a model for further upscaling and roll out in the next year for the full program. I've got some neighboring farmers here. I think today they are going to say but we need to join the dairy thing because they've seen they are seeing the benefits and I believe that even us as an association we are going to benefit more than we've been doing. 